So I've been doing some spring cleaning of you. Yes. Yep, we all do it at our home. Yeah, but this is also a good time of year to do a little decluttering when it comes to your smartphone. Kyle Updahl from Cell Phone Repair is here to share some tips. I'm afraid to know this, Kyle, but really, how dirty do our phones get? Well, if you think about it, you're taking your phone out of your pocket up to about 50 times a day, swiping it, putting it on countertops in public places. Mm -hmm. So it can be susceptible to germs, bacteria, uh, for females, a lot of makeup gets built up in it. Sure. So, Male TV And Jason's too, makeup. actually. <laughs> he has that problem. Is this just like it gets wedged in your case and then it gets into like the speakers and the, it gets into all of it, huh? Yep, yep. So what you, what I would recommend, especially... This is disgusting now that I take a look at it. <laughs> a little well, we, can, we can definitely help you out. Um, what I'd recommend, though, is cleaning the phone. Okay, how do we do an, that? With an exterior professional screen cleaner. So simply mist the the device and use a microfiber towel mm -hmm. and wipe the device clean. Now, do we need to be doing that every day? I would recommend doing it multiple times a week. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I wipe oh. mine off every morning because it just, you, you get With like, water or? No, I use a. You do, okay. Yeah. Kyle hooked me up with the appropriate. <laughs> I used to use just spit and then just <laughs> no. try to shine That's it right disgusting. off. Yeah, so don't use Windex, don't use spit. Don't, don't use Windex, okay. No, don't use um, any household cleaner. Use a glass cleaner, is that all right? That's okay Matter. on the glass, but I would okay. not put it in any of the components. Oh, okay. sure. Not Got in your it. charging port or your speakers. So clean, using it, and what other tips? Um, for the inside of the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can we do that ourselves or do you need help? Well, professional help would be needed if you don't do certain things. So the four things that I would kind of recommend to start would be one, back it up so you don't lose anything. Sure. Always, you, you've got cloud services with different service providers or iTunes, put it up there. Two would be pitch the old photos, emails, okay. any text messages, videos. Delete them. Yep, get rid of them. Okay. Three would be um, to get rid of apps. You have Typical user has 90 apps on their device. Mm -hmm. You only use 30 of them. So they're using space. There's location settings, which is the fourth that I would recommend removing or turning off. Um, so when you remove apps, if you need an app, turn off the settings. It drains your battery immensely. Would you say Jason's phone is the most disgusting one you've ever come to counter <laughs> with? Or? It's, it's top five. It's, it's, top, five. it's top five. It's fair. <laughs> it's fair. very fair. Yeah. And this does make a difference. I recently went through, I had like seven pages of apps. Wow. And kind of consolidated it. And you realize you're like, I don't need all you're, this. You're why the average is up. Yeah, I'm yeah. the problem. Thanks for that. <laughs> Once again, we, as always in these segments, we learn I'm the problem. Very good, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you so much. They are helpful tips, much. though. Thank you. Thanks for having me.